Alright, today we're going to be hacking another uh, camera. It's a uh, Sony WX50 16.2 megapixel camera. And uh, I've already got the hack figured out on this camera, so I'm going to uh, show you that. Um, got my wires coming out the bottom uh, left hand corner over here. Um, just drill a hole there toward this bottom left side of the camera so I could exit my wires and I'm going to be mounting a uh, servo down there. But anyway, this camera we're going to be using it for uh, doing daytime video and nighttime stills. The uh, flash on it is pretty decent uh, if you're going to be using it for close-up shots. You wouldn't need a slave flash, I don't think. But um, probably going to set your ISO up to about 800 uh, at least for that to work pretty good. Otherwise, uh, I'd suggest using a slave flash with it, and that way you can lower your ISO on down to about 400 or possibly even lower. Um, but uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the camera part. Uh, show you that on this uh, right hand side under the uh, HDMI port. Just pop, pop that out, and uh, you'll notice that there's two screws behind that location that need to be removed one here on the uh, bottom right hand side um, there's two on the bottom next to the tripod mounting uh, area and I found that these at least on this particular camera are pretty tough to get out even though they're unscrewed you have to kind of fish those out of there and then there's two screws on the left hand side and these are shorter screws than the others that you'll be removing so keep those in order whenever you take any camera apart and put it, that way when you put it back together you know where those go Right now that I've got the uh, screws removed from the camera, I'm going to start taking it apart. And uh, you can get right here on the bottom and start separating the uh, halves on the camera. Get that front cover off of it. And you'll notice uh, on this little corner right here above the battery door, there's a little piece of trim that will fall out. So. You know, you keep that and put it back in if you want to. Uh, it's really not necessary, I don't think, but I always like to try to put things back together like they were. Uh, but anyway, get our back cover off of the camera. Alright. <clears throat> now, you'll notice up top that uh, power button is right here, and our shutter button is here. So to gain access to that, we're going to have to... Uh, take off this little plastic piece that goes across here and originally this one didn't have this notch cut out in it here and it didn't have this cut out uh, on it right here where this uh, microphone was at um, I had originally intended to run my wires out the top of the camera and uh, use that as my exit point but that didn't work out this camera has virtually no extra space between the uh, front and back covers where they meet the uh, body of the camera so it makes it pretty difficult to be able to run your wires out of it and uh, get the camera to fit back together correctly and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that later but our video button that we're going to be hacking into uh, originally was right here uh, top right corner of this uh, menu board that's on the back uh, so in order to get that board off you can uh, just try to disengage it and slide it over to the right side and kind of lift up on it a little bit right here if we can Let's see if we can slide that board over to get it to disengage and then uh, there's a little catch right up at the top uh, of the uh, LCD bracket that it latches into also and uh, that's all I'm going to do with it at the moment because I have my wire run down behind this uh, LCD bracket but to get the LCD off lift up on the bottom left corner of the LCD and then pull down just a little bit to get it to disengage from this latch uh, up here on the left top and then you can rotate that LCD over all right and the 
latch for it's right in here and pop that up and be careful so you don't break that latch and then slide your LCD out of the way and now to get our bracket off of the back for the LCD like I said this will be easier for you when you first do your camera because uh, you won't have the wire soldered on for the uh, video yet right, but I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, screw out of there for that uh, LCD bracket see if I can get to that get this little board on the back And that's a little small screw also, so keep track of that one. Now we can get our bracket for the LCD off. And you'll notice on the left hand side it's got a little latch right here or a catch that uh, keeps it in place there on that camera body. Get that worked up. that off out of our way right now I can take my menu board off back here of course now like I said when you first getting into your camera to get ready to hack it you would have uh, already removed this uh, to start with once you got that back cover off uh, but I wasn't able to because I had my wire soldered on there now I just uh, pull that ribbon just grab it right here close to the terminal block that it goes into and uh, just slide that out all right in order to do the uh, video hack on this camera um, the video button was right up top here and uh, you're going to need to peel back the uh, little plastic film that's over the traces on this uh, ribbon and you can get in here close to the top corner and uh, separate that and peel it back and when you do you'll notice that there's a little metal disc which is uh, this little piece here that's going to come back with the uh, plastic film that you pull back that's the uh, pressure switch for the video button uh, you can discard that because you won't need that anymore because once you do the video hack on this camera you won't be able to uh, manually tape videos anymore um, but anyway once you get the uh, plastic peeled back there you'll notice a uh, black circle area and then right in the center of it there's a little black dot and that black dot that bullseye that's where we need to uh, solder our video wire on but uh, what I did was um, in that center bullseye area uh, just gently scraped away some of that black coating that was there to expose the copper pad that was underneath and uh, put just a little bit of soldering flux on that area and uh, got a little solder on my iron tip and placed it there and that's pretty hard to get solder to stick to this location and uh, you have to be careful also because you don't want to apply too much heat and burn through your ribbon so um, if when you get that solder to stick there then get your uh, wire and pre tin it and place it right on that little center area that you put the solder on and uh, solder your wire there uh, like I said it's pretty difficult to do or at least it seemed to be uh, when I did this one and you have to be careful you don't want to bridge that wire over on to the uh, outer ring uh, you just want it right in that very center so you have to keep your exposed wire very short and uh, like I said be really careful doing this because you don't want to burn through your uh, or melt your plastic ribbon there with the traces on it otherwise you uh, you'll either wind it with no video at all or you wind up ruining this whole menu board back here and uh, make your camera inoperable so that's the video hack on this camera uh, now to do the rest of the hack 
we need to remove our plastic trim piece up here and if you start over on the uh, right hand side you can start trying to pop that loose it just uh, kind of clips in place and we can get that to start working up off of there then you can remove that whole little plastic trim piece okay and that will expose your shutter button up here uh, what I'd suggest doing at this point is discharging this capacitor which is on the left hand side and the contacts are right here so just discharge that so you don't do any damage to your board by shorting anything out. The uh, power button on this camera, um, you're going to need to solder your power wire to the top right contact of that switch and then for shutter on this camera you're going to need two wires and uh, the top right corner you need to solder a wire on for focus and the bottom left you solder a wire on for shutter and uh, when you solder those on don't uh, bridge it to the metal housing that's on the shutter button or you'll wind up with a dead short and it won't function um, for the uh, externals on this camera on the front here you'll notice that the uh, battery contacts are exposed and uh, the left hand side in this configuration will be your battery external positive and the one to the right is going to be your battery external negative and in order to route your wires out of the camera uh, you're going to have to bring them right under these tabs here uh, so the front cover will go back in place and uh, not interfere with your battery and just bring them right along here and right beside the uh, lens assembly here you'll notice a little hole that you can stick those wires in and run them all the way through to the back side of the camera and that's the only way i found that you can actually run the external wires on this camera uh, it seems to work out pretty good there's virtually no room inside this camera i may have mentioned this already uh, for wiring and so it gets pretty difficult to get the camera back together um, if you don't have your wires routed properly um, but anyway that's the externals on the camera now since i want to have audio to go along with daytime video on this camera there's uh, two mics up top uh, right and left and the only way to get audio on this camera at least that i found is to remove the uh, microphone up top and it's all of this up here is on a little uh, ribbon it's not on a uh, PC board um, so you have to gently work that ribbon I mean this uh, left hand microphone up off of that ribbon and uh, the way I did it was it's got a little rubber boot over these mics and I'll try to get this one off to show you you can just take that off of the microphone itself if I can get this one up all right that will expose your microphone and you can get uh, like a little flathead screwdriver or maybe a pocket knife edge uh, under that microphone between the microphone and the ribbon and gently gently work that microphone up just keep prying it up until it comes off of the ribbon and hopefully what will happen is you'll expose your uh, solder points underneath that microphone without destroying your ribbon um, I'm not in any way endorsing you or telling you to do this this is a do it at your own risk um, like I said this is the only way I found to be able to add the audio to this camera and um, if you're lucky enough to get that microphone up without doing any damage to your ribbon and you have your solder spots uh, exposed it's kind of like the video button over here the outer portion of it is going to be what you need to solder to for your uh, microphone negative and then in the, in the center of that you will notice a really really small area uh, that you could uh, solder your uh, microphone positive wire to and if you wanted to you could try to remove this right hand microphone as well and do the same thing there and have uh, two microphones 
outside the camera so you could have uh, the stereo audio uh, you know left and right but uh, like I said doing this microphone hack and even the video hack on this camera um, as with hacking any camera it's done at your own risk um, so I should just uh, realize that if you attempt to do this there's a good possibility that you may uh, tear up this ribbon or you may not wind up with the spots that you need to solder to um, if that happens on this left hand side you've still got one chance at it uh, you know on the right hand side that you could attempt it uh, but I said anyway that's the hack on this camera now for wiring uh, or routing my wires as you can see I came off of this top board or top uh, solder location that we have all these wires on uh, I've already explained to you how I did the externals and those are the two wires right here um, but as you can see I routed my wires down off of this uh, main board and came across the back of the camera and I've got them taped in place in a couple of areas and uh, I'm bringing all of my wires out toward this left hand corner over here because I found that I think this is going to be my best option since I'm going to be uh, trying to mount a servo to this camera and on the bottom of the uh, back case I've drilled a hole you know right here um, so that give me an exit point for all of my wiring um, and even doing it this way and keeping your wires nice and neat in there using a small small gauge wire like 30 or 31 AWG um, it's still going to be tough to get this camera back together most of it works out okay but what I found is uh, when you put that front cover back on right across the top it doesn't want to latch in place very well and there's one other thing I want to show you on that also um, and I almost forgot about it on your front cover right in the, I'm going to get it turned up in the right direction right in this area here um, there's a plastic protrusion similar to this you'll need to snip that off get that uh, snipped off and cleaned up pretty flush so that it doesn't interfere or cut into your uh, external wires uh, that are on the front of the case Otherwise, when you go put that back together, that piece actually is supposed to fit in right here, and it will uh, press against and possibly cut or pinch those external wires. So uh, to give a little pressure relief there, I'll just clean that area up. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so I've got the uh, hack on this camera completed. I've got my servos wired up uh, on the bottom and I used a six wire servo and a two wire servo. The two wire servo is uh, just for my external microphone wires, mic positive, mic negative. Uh, the six wire servo is my hack uh, which includes the external positive and external negative, uh, the video wire, the uh, shutter and uh, focus wires, and my power for my power button. Uh, this camera can use the battery external negative as the common for shutter for power shutter and for the video uh, so you could uh, use a jumper wire you know from uh, power common up to the uh, second opto as the ground for your video wire one thing that I didn't show you um, on this camera while I had it open was um, if you did not want to use externals with this camera um, you could just wire um, and you were just going to use it for still photos you could um, on that power button where I showed you could put your power wire um, at the top right corner on the bottom right corner you could solder a wire on for your power common and then on the shutter button um, I showed you the focus wire location and the shutter wire location uh, focus being at the top right and shutter at the bottom left uh, you could also solder a wire on to the top left contact um, for shutter common and um, you, it would just be a five wire hack but you're still going to need a uh, control board that has a second opto 
uh, that will operate the focus for the camera so it will uh, show the pictures. And anyway, to show you that the hack is working, I've got my uh, multimeter set up here and I'm going to check my external wires now. And I may have to tilt it up just a little bit more so you can see my meter. And I'll uh, make sure my external connections are good here. And I'm reading uh, 3.80, so I know my external connections are good on this camera. Alright, to power the camera on, I'm going to use my battery negative and my power wire. Touch those two together and the camera powers up. Now to uh, do video, we take our video wire, touch that to battery negative, and we start recording video. Touch those two again, and the video stops. Now on this camera, in order to part to take a picture, we need our focus wire. Touch that to battery negative. And then we can touch our shutter wire to those and we get a photo. But in order for it to take a second photo, we have to disconnect all three wires and touch focus to battery negative again and then the shutter wire to those two and we'll get a second picture. Alright guys, so that's the uh, hack on the Sony WX50. Um, so now, I haven't tested this camera in a build. This was for a customer that sent it to me as a request uh, to see if I could even hack the camera for him. Um, so um, I don't really know how it's going to do as far as uh, being a nice you know, little trail camera, but uh, from just my initial testing with it, I think it's going to work out just fine. Um, but um, hopefully Rick will be posting up some pictures and videos from it as he gets his build done and gets it set out to uh, see how it's going to do. Uh, but I think he's going to be real pleased with it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.